Hey, I'm Matt from The A-Team, and I'm going to show you how to make anything look cool. Today on 4 Minute Film School, we're showing you the ultimate product lighting setup. Let's go. Product lighting comes in all shapes and sizes, whether it's professional photo shoots, showing off your gear, or low budget commercials. There's tons of different ways to light products, but there seems to be one lighting setup that looks good no matter what you use it for. This light setup is called top lighting. You can find top lighting pretty much anywhere. Watch commercials use it, tech commercials use it, even car commercials use it. So how can you create one overhead light setup that you can use to shoot all kinds of products? Let's check it out. So here we are on set, and the first thing we want to figure out is what to set your products on. One tip is to use a reflective surface. That could be glass, that could be a mirror, or maybe wet concrete. In this case, we have dark plexiglass. The reflection gives the product a nice floating effect, while the dark plexiglass cuts down on the brightness of that reflection. Now, if you want to add even more production value to your shot, you can set this entire thing on a rotating device, like in our case, a Lazy Susan. Having that extra bit of motion can really enhance your product cinematography. The key with overhead light is you want it to be soft, and the best way to achieve soft light is to make your light source as big as possible. Here at Aperture, our go-to is using the Light Dome 2. We're going to add both layers of diffusion, but not the grid, and I'll explain why here in a minute. So now that we have the 120 Mark II with the Light Dome 2, it's time to rig it. In this case, we're using a C-stand to arm it over the table. Make sure that the large leg is underneath the weight of the C-stand and that the knuckle is on the right side. And we have a sandbag on the opposite end of that load just to act as counterweight. Now that you have your light rigged overhead, you want it as low as possible just outside of frame. Then you can dim it down to achieve that nice exposure for your product. By bringing the light closer, you maximize the relative size of your source to your subject. And the bigger it is, the softer your light will be. This light looks even better if the product itself is reflective, so you can see the reflection of that overhead light. But that's why you don't actually want to use the grid. That way it doesn't break up the light in your reflection. So let's take a look at a few products so you really get a sense for how versatile this light setup is. Now, is it possible to get the same lighting effect with only a small light? We're gonna to try to create the same lighting, but with an MW. Now, in theory, we should be able to get it to be just as soft as the 120D Mark II, because the chip on the 120D Mark II is actually smaller than the MW. The other factor is that the 120D Mark II is bright enough to go through multiple layers of diffusion and still have good output. We just have to see if the MW can hold up. So here we have the MW rigged above the table, and we're using a technique called double break. Really, that just means we're diffusing the light twice. Now, for the first layer of diffusion, we're taking that light source coming from the MW and spreading it onto a bigger surface than the MW itself. And the second layer of diffusion spreads that light even more onto a bigger source. We may have to adjust some of the camera settings, but we can still get good exposure out of just the MW light. Let's take a look at some of the product shots with just the MW. All right, time for a recap. In order to get the best overhead lighting, there are two main things you need to consider. First, the lighting has to be mounted directly above your surface. Think of it as a ceiling light that you're creating for your product. Second, make sure your light source is as large and as diffused as possible. Getting the light as close to the surface as possible will give it the most spread. Today's common question is, what's an everyday object that would look amazing in this lighting? Comment below for a chance to win an Aperture M9. If you've enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like and subscribe for more tutorials. I've been Matt with the A-Team. Thanks for watching 4 Minute Film School and happy shooting.